my name is Sasha Hans and I'm with Gail Water and um, from the Autobahn Society of Kalamazoo. So what made you get inspired to work at the Society of Kalamazoo? Well, I am a volunteer and I have been a member of the um, Audubon for many years. I was on the board um, and I was board president for quite a few years and uh, that was when we noticed that these birds had come and were trying to lay eggs on the bank building and uh, at that time there was no nest box and they would lay their eggs in the gutter which is what peregrines do. They lay their eggs in a depression. They don't build a nest and so people were asking what can we do? Can, well, how can we help these birds? And so a number of people put their heads together um, and got the bank to agree to put up a nest box. And I got involved after that just because I thought it was pretty interesting. And uh, so I have been following the birds and have now a responsibility for the website and the cameras and the webcam and keeping people informed about what the birds are doing. See if you can read the number. So, so how did you get the name of MERS Tate? For the of bird? MERS, yes. So I was um, intrigued by MERS Tate because um, Sonia had come to visit an organization that I belong to and part of, uh, I learned about that, of her involvement with the MERS Tate uh, nonprofit. And so I read about it online. And then there was a little article that came out in the Encore magazine that Lynn Houghton wrote about MERS. And then I went to listen to Sonia speak at the library and learned a little bit more about MERS. And I thought this was a real interesting, important woman of Kalamazoo history. She was way ahead of her time. She was an adventurer, and peregrine falcons are certainly adventurers. They travel. She was a traveler. They're not limited by rules. Um, they kind of go where they want to go and do what they want to do, and I just thought, we need to name one of these birds MERS. A lot of people who live and work in downtown Kalamazoo have really come to know about the birds, and they really think of them as an icon of downtown Kalamazoo. And so, they care a lot about the birds, and if we were not keeping track of the young birds as they are starting to learn to fly, um, oftentimes they will end up on the ground and we need to pick them up and get them to safety. And that's what happened to Miss Murr. She got herself out of the nest box early, landed right down there in the alley, um, watching the folks ride their exercise bicycles in the gym. <laughs> so we had to pick her up and put her back, um, back up at the nest box. It's one of those things that just, it just evolves. You don't go looking for it, it just finds you.